the No Morning Show. We are just a few minutes away from 8 o'clock, but the show is not done yet. I know the vibes has been turned all the way up with Zuena just now there. And we're going to keep that vibe and energy all the way up this morning. I want to welcome somebody who's always grateful, Mr. E.A. E.A. Irfan <laughs> Alves in the building. <laughs> Excellent, pleasant. Good morning to each and everyone. It's a love, it's a pleasure to be here. How are you going, bro? Grateful. Yeah, great. You, you see what I mean? That man can't complain and all blessed and highly favored. Let me say happy belated birthday. Thank you so much. This is this birthday mm -hmm. going on in the books. Why? Yeah, unexpectedly, because I have so much going on right now, career wise. I didn't really get time to plan out a celebration. Mm -hmm. But it so happened that my team and I we did up a last minute bus ride. If you all check on the grams, your boy popping champagne and that well, kind I saw of thing. Well, I saw that's how I knew yeah, it was yeah, yeah. there. There was champagne popping on I, my feet. I finally got to release uh, for years throughout my entire career. Thus far, I've been trying to release a song, my birthday week. How wrong the birthday yeah. week, sorry. And finally got to do it. So uh, I feel great. I'm happy to be alive. And, you know, coming off the heels of the pandemic, you know, we ain't fully out of it yet. Mm -hmm. But I just appreciating a lot of things, you know, comparing and contrasting, you know, from then to now and it, it increasing my gratefulness, you know, to be alive and functioning. I heard you say something very interesting the other day. You were on next with um with Trumpet and them for motivational right. Monday. Yeah, yeah. And um I, I heard you talking about your experience watching other artists perform and you became you became a fan for a little while and you were able to take in some things. Um, you know, I, I'm curious as to what the pandemic changed about you as an artist and, and yeah. these experiences, what it changed so, about you as a performer. Right. So just observations, you know, take it in myself and my comrades in the space even more. Because, you know, with the hustle and bustle of performing, touring, recording, you know, you kind of find yourself within a bubble, mm -hmm. right? So I got the opportunity now to pull right back and understand a bit more what I am doing. Because sometimes when you're in it and you're involved and you have your goals and you're attacking that, you might just be kind of, you know, tunnel vision. Mm -hmm. But I got to appreciate um, the highs, the lows, the faults, and I got to tune in on some things that I believe I wasn't really focusing on that I should. Like what? Be well, life in itself, and I, I believe in balance. So if it is I have a family affair to attend and a gig comes up, most likely at this point in my career, I'll go to the gig. Yeah, yeah. But then in retrospect, I believe that, you know, a little bit more consideration should be given to, to the loved ones and that aspect because, for example, my parents, they're alive and well, thank God right now. But I feel as though for me, as a, as a young person, time and energy should also be placed on me spending time with them and giving them the same amount of energy through the career. It's a bit difficult. Mm -hmm. So little things like that. You know, I, I believe that the pandemic would have helped me to kind of analyze and understand that, yo, music always here, but the blood in the physical form mm -hmm. will always be in us. So I don't make sure and increase that attention and yeah. increase that relationship. It's about finding the balance between, between working, because, I mean, music is your, is your job, right? So yeah, it's about finding full -time the balance. full-time career. Yeah. I never worked at 8 or 4 in my life, you know, even during summer vacation, I never did any OJTs or anything like that. It was fully music for me, fully, every time. I well. know it's, it's just interesting <laughs> because I remember I remember yeah. seeing you in things like Junior Soka Monarch and Junior Calypso Monarch and you, you even you, you entered Calypso Monarch. Uh, you were in the semis down in, in, in Skinner Park. If I'm not yeah, mistaken. so I made my first finals you know, at the big stage in 2019. That was it. I am. Yeah, mm -hmm. a song that I do not remember the lyrics for. And I wish you, I, you know, I wish you would perform that song. Bro, I have <laughs> issues. With retainers, yeah. with Calypso. For some, if I write well, a soca song, that is about six verses long. No, so but, I understand. But the thing is, <laughs> if I if I write a soca song, yeah, even if it's like as long as a Calypso, I remember. But for some reason, Calypso and like Parang, my Parang teacher in secondary <laughs> school, she used to link me up right before July August vacation. <laughs> To start from then. Summertime, please learn this song. <laughs> and then still forgetting lines on stage. I feel like I never win. No. I came second in all the junior parent competitions. But, you know, blessing the same way. I, I came in this space at 12 years old with Hazel Ward. Mm -hmm. You know, blessings to the guys at TTT for bringing back 12 and under. Um, is definitely something that I endorse and support because, you know, I find a footing. I became accustomed to the bright lights, you mm -hmm. know, for the first time right inside of here. You know, one of the things you mentioned just now, there's secondary school days, and you always uh, give back to your secondary school. Definitely. Uh, in, this, in this time you're doing, you're doing your concert again this year? Yeah, this Saturday. Is this Saturday? Tomorrow. Trouble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Tomorrow we're grateful. Definitely. So 
I renamed it. That's part of the the, the pandemic, mm -hmm. you know, relaunch rebranding. Uh, it was grateful. I still have the grateful, you know, the Irfan Owls uh, Music Foundation for St. George's College. That school supported me tremendously mm -hmm. from Form 1 to Upper 6. So every year, part proceeds of my event, which, like, it's called EAB Day tomorrow. EAB Day. Yeah, at Songforge. That's t tomorrow, the till of December at Songforge. I, part proceeds go towards the Irfan Owls Music Fund at St. George's College, you know. Sometimes it might be guitars they need. Sometimes the stereo, they might need a new stereo. So I just kind of show my support in that way. You know? mm -hmm. I can't really physically attend. I mean, well, pay a visit to them every year, but I make sure link up with the principal. Miss, hold that. <laughs> <laughs> right? So a lot of artists going to be performing tomorrow. Your favorite DJs. It's going to be a great vibe, a great celebration. It's my birthday celebration, you know? How do we get um? How do we get tickets to, to attend EABD? Right, so, yeah, so you know everything right now. Everything getting technological and e-ticketing vibes. So e-tickets for EA. All they have to do is click the link on my Instagram bio or visit my website. It's my name, Irfan Alves, E R P H A E N A L V E S dot com. You know, fill in the information, and my gift to them is a very affordable price: one hundred dollars before twelve at the door. After 12, you pay more. And buy the online tickets at the door? Yeah, when you click you the, the, the no, they RSVP. So, ah. Yeah, you can oh, so the online link is yeah, just the RSVP? Yeah, they either, have a, they either would receive a, a, a QR code or mm -hmm. they just show their names. And once it's on the system on my end, they enter. Pops are dubs. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, um, we fun. Now we get ready for EAB. Day. Wait, before you do that, tell me about the new one, Spirits. Bro, I woke up 6 o'clock in the morning. I didn't even brush my teeth, to be honest. And I just went straight to my little setup in my room, mm -hmm. set up my logic, you know how we do. Mm -hmm. And this beat brought out our energy, you know, from within that I don't even know where it come from. So that's why I, I went that way, the spirit calling. And I want to say props to the producer, Kes Keys, you know, and DJ Kingston, because without that rhythm, without that energy, mm -hmm. it roots C. It take me all the way back to Kambule. And reminded me of the reason, you know, why we celebrate and why we revel. So this one is a real, real vibration. And it will connect with each and every one of us, you know. It's, it's more than just a soca song. It's the truth. Oops. Feel it. You have to stand up with me, no, bro. You can't sit up there. Let me go. TTC, Trinidad, and today, go good morning. Everybody. Super you should do. Super you should do something like this. Day. I 
going straight to the gym. You see, I can't play. <laughs> After being fit and ready. Them spirits require you to have some stamina, boy. Jesus that is ages. for sure. Ladies and gentlemen, Irfan Alves is here with us this morning. EAB Day is on tomorrow. You want to check out IrfanAlves.com to be able to get your tickets. Or you can just go on your Instagram, click the bio in his link, right? Link. The link in the bio, sorry. Yeah. Um, just before we wrap up, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Clifton Amore wants to publicly thank Miss Lacqua and her friend for helping him yesterday when he fell twice. They came out of their car and assisted him while everyone else passed them straight. So good morning to you ladies. Thank you so much for uh, being able to hook him up and help him out. Best and we appreciate people you know, sharing good news like that. So feel free to reach out to us at get on now at ttt.co.tt. I still trying to catch my from the spirits. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, go out there and make a difference today now. Just like that. Just like those ladies did make a difference today now because together we aspire. And if together we perspire, together we definitely can achieve. On behalf of Ienka, Will Kimberly D'Souza, Earth on Alves. I'm Rokos wishing you a fantastic weekend. Be safe, make good choices. And um, let me get the spirits again now. Let me go. Hey, we Everybody want to come back now, man.